Do you think you know the best restaurants in London? Foodies TV asked 12 of the most important local and international bloggers to vote for the best restaurants in London of 2016. One of the 12 bloggers is Andy Haler, restaurant critic for Elite Traveller magazine. Here he is with their answers. Get ready to discover the best restaurants in London for 2016. Hi, I'm Mandy Haler. Uh, London is a great restaurant city and I've lived here for over 30 years. So picking the best restaurants is no mean task. And the panel of bloggers who did the survey will have to have a, just as tough a job as I did in choosing their top restaurants. So we're going to go through these restaurants, but stay tuned because afterwards we're going to select the, the two restaurants that came top of the survey. The first restaurant on the list is the Araki, two Michelin star sushi restaurant from a chef who was a three Michelin star chef in Tokyo and has now moved to Mayfair. He offers a no choice omakase menu and the Iraqi is certainly far from the cheapest restaurant in London, indeed it may be the most expensive, um, but it, nonetheless it offers top class sushi and arguably the best sushi in Europe. The next restaurant is The Ritz in uh, Piccadilly. Uh, where John Williams heads a vast brigade in the kitchen of this, this large restaurant. Uh, the dining room is very beautiful and the uh, food is very classical and in particular the uh, kitchen is known for the strong pastry section um, so they have a dish called a Gâteau Saint Honoré uh, which is particularly beautiful. The restaurant um, finally got its uh, first Michelin star this year. I've been sort of banging on about this for a long time that they, they deserve that star and uh, in 2016 they finally got the recognition that they deserve. Next on our list is Beast uh, which is a, indeed a beast of a restaurant. It's a no choice sort of menu. Um, they specialise in protein basically. This is a kind of like a bit like Valhalla in terms of the dining room so there's lots of benches, it's very rustic, um, lots of people uh, drinking too much. Um, they specialise in high quality steaks and in particular um, in this uh, giant Norwegian crab, uh, king crab, which is a huge creature and that's, that's the beast that gives the restaurant its name. Now choosing restaurants is not an exact science and you may have your own ideas about the best restaurants in London, in which case keen to hear from you. So please either post a comment on this video or contact foodies.tv. The fourth restaurant on our list is the Quality Chop House in Farringdon. Um, this is the restaurant that's got a lot of history, started off as literally a, a sort of working men's um, canteen uh, over a century ago and in the last few years has been taken over and, and changed its format slightly, though the, the, the basic benches still uh, remain. These days you get a cushion at least to sit on. Um, the food has transformed as well and they're noted for their modern British cooking, and in particular one dish, which is the sautéed potatoes in place of chips. Uh, this is a very real favourite among lots of uh, restaurant reviewers. Before I name the last in this section of best restaurants in London, bear in mind in the next video, we're gonna name five more of the top restaurants, and in particular, we're gonna name the two best restaurants in London. The last one in this section is Bonhams. Um, Bonhams is in uh, the auction house in Piccadilly, and its young chef Tom Kemble is noted for his use of very very high grade produce. It deservedly got a Michelin star in its first year and as a bonus Bonhams has got by some margin the best value wine list in London. <laughs>